Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants Franchise. Featuring the one and only White Lightning Kyle. I know you guys love him so much. You guys won't stop telling me how much you love Kyle Aletta. It's alright. We're going to just upgrade everybody. There you go. That's the upgrade for the episode. We got the Lions today. The Lions suck. I'll show you. Let's go. There are 77. So it's going to be a real close game. If, it, if the past episodes of the series are any indication. Lions. Giants. No Super Bowl for the Lions. I'm sure Lions fans are very aware. And the fireworks are going off indoors at Ford Field. Very close to the roof. Probably safe. Maybe I'm just being weird about it. I said we were going to come out in alternate today. And uh, I lied to you because I forgot about it. Even though I recorded it. Oh, I don't know. About an hour ago I may have said that. Who is their quarterback? Who is who is that? Is that Thad Lewis? Relax, Saquon. Holy. Come on. Let's just play our game, man. Also, yeah, there's... Thad Lewis is not in the NFL still. He... De well, definitely is not. I don't know when the last time he would have played would, uh, you know, would be. Was. Maybe with the Bills. I all I kind of want to look it up. Oh, great play by Nat DeGear. Thad Lewis, by the way. Not on a team. He was last on the Ravens practice squad last year. So I didn't know that. He's now an offensive analyst for UCLA. Must explain why they're so terrible. Shout out to Chip Kelly. No, they're QB Stafford. I don't know. I saw this number 12. Like, they usually show the QBs when they uh, run out on the field. Neutral zone infraction. AKA encroachment. Roman Pugh, really? You're killing me. Right, are we serious? Come on, Darwin. It's Golden Tate. Like, he's good. But you're better. First down. It's a good catch. Good way to fight through contact for Marvin Jones Jr. Wow, who is Nolan? Is Christopher Nolan in the Batman movies? No, it's R. Stands for uh, Rainbow. What's up with Detroit just driving down the field, dude? Philadelphia didn't even come close to doing this. Again, it's all short passes. I gotta just get a user pick, maybe real quick. Change the momentum. Wait, what? No, don't dance. That's 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 coming back. That's coming back for sure. I don't know what happened, but it's coming back. Yeah, illegal block in the back. You're damn right. Jake Butt. That play was ass. Great sack. Cameron Jordan gets to the QB. Sealed the edge. And that's going to make it a little bit more difficult of a field goal. Probably still very makeable, especially inside of a building. Not outside of the elements where I struggle so mightily. Is that short? Who's kicking? I mean, that was kind of far. But still. Rolling out with white lightning. Throwing on the money for Odell. I was maybe out of bounds. Oh, that was third down? Shoot. That's a pretty good punt. No. No, don't roll that way. There we go. Wait, no. There we go. All right. BJ Goodson with the sack. That's something you don't see every day. BJ Goodson sack. We're going deep. Kyle Laletta. Gone. That's frustrating. That's wide open. Sterling Shepard 
First down, moving the chains. Finally a completion. Oh, is that going to be a touchdown? Wow, if he held his block, that actually probably would have been a touchdown. Evan Ingram had the wheels. I cannot run the ball against this Lions front seven for whatever reason. Not even with Saquon Barkley. Second and 12. I'm throwing that. Wow. I threw it right to him. Oh, I didn't think he would play the ball like that. Jared Davis with the interception, and I'm having so much trouble against the Detroit Lions, as predicted for whatever reason. They're 77. They're not even good. That's a great play. Who was that? What was the number there? 29. Julius Manning, basically a linebacker that plays safety. He comes in a lot of packages. Third and 12. Man coverage seems like a really bad idea, which is why I'm doing it. It's not very good logic. All right. All right it worked out. Threw in a double coverage. Matt Stafford kind of trash. That's a block in the back. It's coming back. Third and seven. Our offense has been pretty much non-existent today. But that's right on the money to Evan Ingram. What is this, WWE? I'll take it. All right. That's a, that's a fumble. All right. We're, we're, uh, we got a pretty good record on the season. We've lost only one game. This is week nine. We'll, we're, we'll give Patrick Mahomes a shot. This is not Kyle being benched. It's just... We'll give Mahomes a shot. Because everyone keeps asking me in the comments and there's, they keep spelling it with an L in there. And that shit is pissing me off. It, there's no L in Mahomes. We'll, we'll play him though. We'll give him a shot. Third and two. That's mine, you idiot! User pick, easy reads, Alex Espinoza. The giving tree. Easy TD for Alex Espinoza. Oh my goodness, he's doing the icky shuffle. I love it. Alex Espinoza throwing it back to the Bengals. Boom. That was less of a boom than I wanted. Throw it to me. Okay. They, I, out of bounds works as well. Not as good. That's mine. You idiot! User pick. The cat in the hat. Easy reads. The user ruins the game. Yeah, give me those comments. I love it. Yo, Darius Slay. Change your name to Darius Slain. Mahomes going deep for Beckham. Get fucked! Ah! Hell yeah, baby! Oh, did I call a timeout? All right. Sick. That's dope, yo. <laughs> shed, shed, shed. Sidney Jones. Uh, we should never have gotten Eagles cornerbacks. What was I thinking? Jalen Mills and Sidney Jones. It's like Jalen kills and. And, and Sydney Bones. Not my best work there. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, I'm rowdy all of a sudden. Oh, Sydney Jones! I thought he got burned. But he had great catch up speed, great make up speed. And he, he got the interception. All right. Jalen Mills doesn't make that play because Jalen Mills sucks. It's a Patrick Mahomes era. Deep shots only. Well. Shit happens, all right? Well, that's intercepted. That's not great. 
Um, I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. That's Jared Davis' second interception. That'd be an interesting stat. You guys ready for this? Has any player in NFL history had two interceptions off two different quarterbacks in the same game? That'd be a really fun stat. I need to look that up right now. I need to ask I need to ask Twitter. Link is in the description, twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. Hopefully somebody on Twitter knows. Oh wow, I thought PJ Goodson jumped that. This ain't Monday night football against the Niners, baby. Are we returning this? Hell yeah, dude. Yo, nice blocking. Landon Collins is back there? Why? Why was that the guy? Oh, Saquon! Fumbled the ball. We have these turnovers. They hurt. We've turned over the ball four times. Two fumbles, two picks. A fumble from Laletta and Saquon Barkley. An interception from Laletta and an interception from Mahomes. And I leave that open. So I left my zone. That's mine. Excuse me? Yo, the BJ Goodson effect is wearing off. What is up? Detroit settling for a field goal, and it is good. We managed to keep them out of the end zone. And um, we have Mahomes who can throw it 90 yards from his knees. At least maybe 1,000 yards from standing. We could definitely reach the end zone. Okay, Howard. Stafford fumbles. Detroit recovers and they get a time off, a timeout off with one second. And they're gonna kick a field goal, make it 14-6. It's a it's a one score game at this point if they make this, which they will, because I've never blocked a kick in my life. Oh, dude, I thought I timed that. I didn't. Right, we need to have a way better second half than we had in the first half because 14 to 6 is not going to cut it. We've barely used Saquon Barkley. Maybe that's the reason. But we don't have to. It's no coincidence Patrick Mahomes' first throw with us was a gigantic touchdown. Some might say, oh, that's because Odell Beckham Jr. is a beast. Right? Well, I say check this one out then. Oh my god. Oh, that was a dime. And not caught. Third and three. I mean, we have a number of options. I'm just going to... This is why I play with Kyle Loletta. Because Patrick Mahomes can't hit the broadside of a barn, dude. In this game. Of course, when I started Giants franchise, Patrick Mahomes was like a 78 overall. And now, of course, he's a lot closer to a 90. Because he is dominant. That's why he was my QB1 in the class. It's a fumble! Recovered by DeMar Jacobs! Broken tackle! Celebrating! End zone! Touchdown! And I called a timeout again accidentally. Here's a pitch. It's one of the worst spin moves I've ever seen by Austin Eckler, is having a lot of trouble running the ball. Just run up the middle. Jay Ajayi gashed us last week that way. Detroit not doing it. Stafford, ah! Roman Pugh drags him down on third and 13. He picked up five, but did not pick up the first down. They're gonna punt. We're looking to extend this lead. 28 to six is what I need. Right now, I mean, it's still a pretty close football game. I'm taking it out, we got blocks. We got blocks and we got speed. That's pretty good return to the 32. That's open. That's a great pass by uh, Mahomes. It's getting weird to say it. Where's Laletta? Mahomes has just been really hit or miss so far. We're trying to get you know some good use out of him. Going deep quite a lot. Was, we were sacked before the play even started. Ashawn Robinson lived in the backfield on that one. Pick up good blocks. I want to throw... Mahomes has a super long delivery as well. It doesn't help.
We're going to take this one-on-one -on -one shot to Saquon. Mahomes puts it on the money for Saquon Barkley, who throws up the X. What are you doing? 48-yard touchdown. Again, Mahomes, he's hit or miss. The arm strength is really fun to play with. It really is. The accuracy has got me worried. Up the middle. Banging hit sticks, or at least trying to. Beckler averaging 10.6 per carry, and that was like, what, 10 yards there? Did I say 10.6 per carry? I, I didn't mean that. I don't know. I don't know what I said. It's honestly, it's a blur. Get after him, Pew. Wow, what a thrill from Stafford. Oh, I want to track that down. Good tackle by Derwin James, at least. How is that open? That's a 15-yard gain. Stafford's thrown three picks. Two of them user picks. But I don't know. I feel like he looks okay. Not that great. <laughs> Obviously, three picks is kind of tough. And Austin Eckler has an easy touchdown. They're going for two. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a run, and it is a touchdown. Well, two-point conversion. Oh, we had Evan Ingram. Also probably had DeMar Jacobs, but I prefer to throw it to Evan Ingram because I know he can't catch the ball. Ingram wide open. Hurdle. Hurdle season. I don't know why I keep trying that. It'll work one day. Or Evan Ingram will snap his neck and we don't have him for the rest of the series. This is double A-gap pressure. Don't want to run the ball against this. But I still will consider uh, getting it into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And it is a blitz. And we will go to the flat with Saquon Barkley. I, I feel like the juke is not good. I like the spin way more. Third and two. Never a bad time to take a deep shot with Mahomes. Even in triple coverage. Oh my god. <laughs> Odell is a glitch. There was no reason to throw uh, throw that ball. Also, I really thought that like there was going to be different coverage there, and they all went after Odell. Like that was the worst possible throw I could have made. High point, Keenan Allen. I'm getting so frisky with Mahomes. It's not even funny. We're getting risky, dude. What are you? Like, these are not difficult throws. Play action. Oh, almost had DeMar Jacobs. I'll settle for that over the middle. It's Odell Beckham Jr. Keenan Allen, touchdown. He has not had that many this season. But, uh, he's making a count here, extending our lead. 35-14. And we're going to walk out of here with the W. Ah, uh, good hit by Pew. Also, I have an update on that stat that I asked you guys for on Twitter. Shout out to at Big Baller Caleb telling me about Willie Buchanan, former Chargers and Packers cornerback. He was actually kind of sick for a little while. And in this game in 1978 against the Chargers on September 24th, he had four interceptions. Dan Fouts threw two. James Harris, who played most of the game, threw two. And then Cliff Olander threw one. That's really interesting to me. He had quite a game. I guess, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good game. Four interceptions, including, uh, I wonder if he was even off three different quarterbacks. Because three quarterbacks for... The Chargers threw at least one interception, and he had four of them. Willie Buchanan also had a touchdown that game. Four interceptions, 77 yards, and a TD. Quite a performance. I've actually managed to find Packers highlights from that game. Week 4, 1978. It's a two-minute video. It's 3,000 views. It's killer. I want to see if I can find out who threw these picks. That's a fumble. And recovered by the Giants. Sidney Jones falls on it. That's wide open. 
Mahomes for Barkley. Wow, and the spin move. He doesn't fool him. So Willie Brown, or excuse me, Willie Buchanan. Not Willie Brown. Willie Buchanan had two picks off Dan Fouts. He caught both of Dan Fouts' interceptions. I wonder if there are more here. Not a lot of time left in this video. I think I told you guys that Willie uh, Buchanan actually went on to play for the Chargers for the rest of his career. But I can't seem to find out who the other two interceptions were off of. I really hope that he intercepted three quarterbacks in the same game. Because that would be an unbreakable stat. Willie Brown had nine interceptions in 1978. Thankfully, uh to those four interceptions in that game against the Chargers. I really want to find out who threw these interceptions, but I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to. What? Okay, that was almost insane. I was getting really crazy there. That hurdle would have been sick. A little bit annoyed I didn't get it, actually. That would have been a fantastic highlight. Wouldn't be a game without Saquon Barkley getting a touchdown. It really wouldn't be. What is going on here? I don't I don't know what that is. 42-14. We smashed them. It was close, but then we we really pulled up, pulled out with the win. That's got to be a sack. There we go. Finally Cam Jordan gets to him. Detroit calling timeouts like this is still a game. I have no idea why. You are down 42 to 14 now with no timeouts and 16 seconds remaining. What is the scenario here? What is the fantasy where you guys managed to come back? Cam Jordan back to back sacks his third of the game. That's actually insane. I don't remember him like getting any sacks the entire season pretty much. And now he goes out and he picks up three. And now they're going to spike it on third and 28 as in time expires. What? What a game called by Matt and Patricia, honestly. <laughs> Unbelievable. So that's going to do it. It was fun to try out Patrick Mahomes. Three touchdowns and interception, 11 for 19. He's really inaccurate, but he's got an absolute hose, which was really fun to play with. Saquon didn't get the ball that much because we were trying out some new things. And OJ Howard was had nine catches on us. Odell, three catches for 114 and a touchdown. Saquon Barkley, three catches, 84 and a touchdown. Keenan Allen had a touchdown. We don't really throw the ball that often because we have Saquon Barkley. So, good tackles for loss. Three sacks for Cam Jordan. Lawrence Thomas had one. BJ Goodson had one. And interceptions, two for Espinosa, one for Sidney Jones. Forced fumbles by Tyrus Charlton, by Lawrence Thomas, by Lorenzo Carter. And then the Lions also forced three. This was a really weird game. Defensive touchdown for Alex Espinosa. It was a really, just really weird game. That's all I can say. Upgrade point for Evan Ingram that we're not going to spend. If anyone can find out the mystery to this Chargers-Packers game, did Willie Buchanan intercept three quarterbacks in the same game? He had four interceptions. We know one for certain, or two for certain were off Dan Fouts. We know at least one was off his backup. And then I forget whose name he was. And then we, and then Olander, who's another quarterback for the Chargers, also threw a pick. There were five total picks in the game by three different quarterbacks. Willie Buchanan had four. Did he intercept three different QBs? Find out. Let me know. Direct me to proof. Twitter is the best place for links if you have one. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one when we take on the New Orleans Saints, who are 5-3. Check out weekly awards here uh, as Espinoza is actually in there, Alex Espinoza. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This was a super fun one, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.